Hi ladies, I've got the unboxing of the July 2015 Goodie Box. Goodie Box is the healthy beauty and natural wellness subscription box. Looks like this. Open it up. I'm really loving this box. It has just been wonderful. And their um, summer bonus box, if you haven't caught my unboxing video of it, you have to see it. It is just slam packed with so much awesomeness. All right, but on to this box, the normal July subscription box. Ah, oh, there is a lot of stuff in here. Check that out. I love that. All right, so I'm just going to grab what's on top. This is Red Flower Reviving Hand and Face Towelettes in, I guess, Wanderlust must be like the fragrance. Um, it is a fresh towelette infused with a purifying essential oil blend to revive, cleanse, and hydrate the skin. And unlike some other boxes where sometimes you get like two little packets or, you know, three, this is like a whole bunch of them. How awesome is that? Like you have enough to really try it out and see whether you like it or not, you know? So we've got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of these. That's awesome. Next, Grace Antioxidant Facial Toner by Angel Face Botanicals. Um, antioxidants, vitamins A, B, C, and E help slow the aging process by disarming free radicals, promoting cellular renewal, and encouraging a smooth, clear, and radiant skin tone. And who wouldn't love that, right? Okay, so it looks like there are some really good things in here. The first product or the first thing on the ingredient list is aloe juice. So it's mostly aloe juice. Next would be cranberry extract, then white tea extract, and so on and so forth. So a lot of interesting things. Um, you might not be able to tell so much because of the lighting, but this is actually a cobalt blue bottle. It's really pretty. It's plastic though, not glass. So you don't have to worry about it breaking. Uh, and it's got that like herbal, slightly medicinal smell. Mostly herbal though. It smells nice. And the directions tell you that you are to use it twice per day after cleansing. Just put it on a cotton pad, sweep it over the skin to remove your last traces of dirt and makeup. Then you use your moisturizer and serum. And it says it is beneficial for all skin types. That's a pretty good size too, by the way. Then by Yarek. At least I hope I'm saying that right. We have Feed Your Shine. This is a hair serum and it is supposed to add shine and brilliance. You are to put one to two drops to the palm of your hand, rub your hands together, and apply it to your hair before heat styling to add shine. Or, and or, apply after styling for increased shine and contrast. I'm not sure what that means for increased contrast know what shine means so let's see gotta break the seal okay oh it's got one of those handy little dripper tops so that makes it a little easier to use it doesn't just pour out everywhere um, I'll put a little bit on nice got two little drops and it's fairly runny as you can see that's Odd. It kind of smells like mint with a touch of chocolate and coffee to me. I don't know. That's weird. I'm sure that's not what's in it, but I get the mint. I get a touch of like a chocolate undertone. And um, for some reason, coffee. I'm just going to, it's really still very greasy on my hand. I'm just going to kind of get a little bit of it and just kind of rub it in my hair and see. It is doing a great job of smoothing down those little puffy fuzzy things that most of us get. So I can see though by how oily it is that this is one where you would definitely need to start with a small amount and test and find like exactly how much works for your hair. And I would also recommend concentrating it on the ends of your hair and not like in your scalp when you're putting it on while your hair is wet. 
So anyways, um, as a person with naturally wavy hair that loves to be frizzy, I always love trying out hair serums and um, I'll, I look forward to giving this a go and see how it does. And we have two more products in here and they are both full size. Yes. The first, this is by Acure which I am familiar with. I've used a few of their products before. And as you can see, this is the Brightening Facial Scrub. It has Argan Stem Cell, and it also has Chlorella Growth Factor. I'm not sure what that is. It's for all skin types. It says on here to seize the day with natural exfoliation from the ocean. Organic sea kelp and lemon peel gently exfoliate your skin while French green clay removes impurities from your pores without taking your natural moisture with it. Organic chlorella growth factor and argan stem cells work to stimulate new cell growth and repair. Madonna lily stem cells help brighten. It's a deep cleansing brightening experience. See the difference today. Put it on your wet face, neck and chest, scrub gently with your fingertips and rinse with water. It says use three times per week for best results. Let's see what this looks like. Very thick, very dark, and feels like a medium to fine grit. So not super fine grit. I've had finer, um, but it is pretty fine. It's not those big thick chunks, which I don't like. I like a fine grit. As fine as it can get, I love it. So um, that's kind of what it looks like. It's got that greenish tint from the clay. Um, you can smell the whatever it is that's the seaweed I guess the kelp organic sea kelp it has that kind of like oceany smell um, you can smell the lemon peel just a touch of it but the overriding smell is the clay the French green clay it's got that smell that's almost kind of like a mint type of smell okay now that I've got that cleaned off um, the final product like I said is full size and this is 100% pure that's the name of the brand and this is their blueberry pigmented ultra lengthening mascara now I'm very excited to um, try this out because I don't think I've ever tried a natural mascara and I'm also excited because I have not used a colored mascara like this is blue um, probably since I was in high school <laughs> so yeah it's been quite a long time um, it's got a little plastic seal so let me see if I can kind of break through that and check out what the brush looks like when you peel off the plastic seal it has all the ingredients list on it so um, if that's something you want to check out, be sure to read it before you tear the plastic seal off. All right, just a beautiful packaging, I have to say. It's really nice, and um, I hope that I really like this because uh, I want to. I want to like it a lot. All right, let's check out. This is the brush, and as you can see, it's kind of got like that hourglass shape to it which I happen to like. I'm a big fan of the hourglass shape. I already have mascara on today, so I'm not going to be able to like put it on and see what it looks like. But what I will do is I'll do like a standalone video review of this later on. All right, so let's recap. We have a full size, and I'm gonna see how much this is worth. Let me see what these two full size products are worth. The mascara is a $25 value. Ka-ching! Yeah, that, that's like the total cost of the box, well covered. And the um, Acure Exfoliating Brightening Facial Scrub, full size is $9.99 and this is full size. So, yeah, that's like $35 worth of product just right there. But anyways, we've got the hair serum and the facial toner. And the seven pack of the cleansing towelettes. Reviving, 
hand and face towelettes in Wonderlust. So that is a really awesome box. I just feel like I got so much for my money this time that it's unreal. And I love that they gave me some actual cosmetics with the uh, mascara because I know a lot of the times with the organic and natural boxes like Pettivore and Goody Box, they tend to give you more body care and facial care products um, and less actual cosmetics. And that's what I'm really needing. I'm really needing more natural cosmetics so I can swap out the um, makeup that I have for natural and organic makeup. But anyways, we've got cosmetics and two skin care, one body care, and one hair care product. So that's an awesome variety. Just love this box. Can't say how pleased I am enough. And really, really looking forward especially to trying out this blueberry tinted mascara. Um, it's hard to see, and I'm, I'm imagining that the camera is just not going to pick it up, but I can see that it's blue. You know what? I'll just rub it on my hand, and we'll see. See? It is blue. It feels a little bit dry. Let me see if I can get some more. Maybe I have to shake it up. It's very dry. That kind of worries me that I'm not going to like it as much as I would hope to. But maybe it'll go on great. I don't know. But it's a very dark blue, so it's not like an electric bright blue, you know, that your teenager would wear. Um, it is a darker blue. And it actually smells like blueberries. For real, I smell the blueberry smell. That is cool. Anyway, if you would like to get Goodie Box, I'm going to put a link down in the description below. Um, they don't have like a referral plan or anything like that, so I'm not going to get credit for it. But just for your convenience, I'll put that down below in case you'd like to subscribe and start getting all natural and organic beauty and wellness products for yourself. Alright ladies, until next time, live beautifully.